Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, I just really enjoy talking to you guys about situations. Since my Armenian ginger video that I did, which I will link down below, I've had a lot of people asking me different questions, being like, oh, you should do these like rant videos. And I was like, yeah, I've always liked these kind of discussion videos and I love watching them. So today I'm just gonna talk about and to be honest, I'm not gonna do this all the time, but some really big things have happened in, me in the music industry in the last two weeks. I just wanna to touch base on them and also talk about some stuff going on in the music scene in England that I'm really not happy about. So <laughs> the first one, obviously we had some serious problems going on last week um, with Michael Jackson and the documentary with that. and. I completely believe the boys. Um, I think anyone that doesn't is absolutely naive. Um, and I think you're blinded by fame, basically. Uh, I won't talk too much about this because it's not really the same music industry as what I'm about to talk about, but that happened. And then the same week, one of my legends, Keith Flint from Prodigy died. Um, the fourth I believe and it absolutely shattered me like absolutely shattered me like I'm someone that is so driven by my electronic music and was I just grew up with the prodigy's music like in the back of the like in the car or like anywhere I went my dad would show their music and it's just it was horrible to find out about that and also it just pretty much confirms that the band is over which is so sad and I'm so privileged to have seen them one last time in November last year in Ali Pali. That was amazing, but wow, like that was crazy. And today actually I'm going to be going to a memorial rave. <laughs> that sounds really bad, but uh, the friends of Keith have actually put on this um, party in North London, which I will be attending. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to go to that and just you know, celebrate his music because obviously his music was just so amazing and they started the rave scene in England, I believe. Like, well, they're one of the people that made it mainstream, basically. And yeah, so that's gonna be emotional, but as well as that, just a good time to celebrate his music. Now to the main thing I was gonna talk about today is what is going on in the rave industry at the moment and the rave scene. I um, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to go out a lot, like a bit too much. And there became a time, I mean, I talked about this in Boomtown, but I thought this was just Boomtown, the situation that's happened. But basically I went out to Printworks two weeks ago, one week ago to see Jaws. I love Jaws. Love his music, it's amazing. Unfortunately, he wasn't playing until 12 p.m. So I was just like, okay, we'll just have to wait here for a while. And I'm like, become such a grandma. I don't go out as much anymore. And it's just like, I would rather be in my bed, but I mean, I still so into my music. So I'm always up to date with the latest like releases and everything. So I, I know a lot about my music, but I don't go out as much. So when I went out, um, they had two um, warm-ups for um, Jaws. And to be honest, as soon as I walked in, I was like, yeah, okay, it's drum and bass. And if anyone doesn't know this, this is a new type of drum and bass that is super popular at the moment that I really cannot stand. And it's like, uh, it, it's just very repetitive, No, not much beat. And then there's an MC that, normally isn't that good that stops some music and then talks and then starts the music again or then plays a really popular track that you're thinking oh the drop's gonna come and then it drops with nah, 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 nah. <laughs> i'm sorry but it's shit <laughs> it's so shit and unfortunately 15 to 18 year olds now are loving it and they're all in the same they're all in the same crowd normally middle class white kids with bucket hats 
like walking around thinking that they're loving the music when actually you're just doing it because you think it's popular like they don't even care and i'm sorry but when i started going out and going going into the rave scene i there was a sense of love and absolute passion towards the person playing the music the actual music itself and there was not not really any anger or well for me i never saw this i just it was there was pure love and at the moment it's just very aggressive i nearly got into two fights in jaws because someone was literally just going like this into my face and i was just like you are so monged out your head just enjoy the music like it's got nothing to do with just being fucked up the whole time i just can't stand it like, it actually bothers me and i'm sorry kids <laughs> I know I'm only 24, but like, oh, I can't stand it. Like, it is so hard to like describe how bad it is, but there is no appreciation for the music anymore. And this is my point I'm trying to make out. We need to appreciate the music more. <laughs> and like, I, I'm just, I'm worried for the whole scene in England at the moment. Like it seems to be better in America and that's, a lot coming from me because you know what I talked about Americans can't rave. You know what's happening. They're getting our good last five years of rave. <laughs> and now we're going into this weird drum and bass phase that I really just uh, dislike. Like, at least play house music. Like, it's just so much better. Disco, things that may have, like, actual lyrics in, you know? Like, not that I don't like songs without lyrics. I love that. But there's no beat to this new drum and bass that's coming in. And it's just... <sighs> it's not good. I love drum and bass. Let's just clarify that. I do love drum and bass. Just don't like this new stuff. It's like how I feel about rap. I like rap, but not this new rap. I like rap from the 90s because something happened. I don't know what, like, mainstream, they, this music becomes mainstream and then Basically, there's a lack of any appreciation just because they think it's cool and that's when the music starts to become bad, in my opinion, and it's really annoying. <laughs> and I really hope if any DJs are watching this, please just, just stick to what you know and you love because as a viewer and as a music lover, I can see that you have that love for that music. And it's not just to please a crowd because you think it's popular, just do what you like. You know when like artists such as Daft Punk completely become mainstream? I don't know what happened to them, but I loved Daft Punk. I loved them. And then they went and did go get lucky, whatever that song was, and that was just like, what is this? Oh my God, the rave scene needs to change. Otherwise, I I can't I can't be involved in it anymore. And I that's really hard for me to say it because I had so much love for it, and now I'm just like I hate the people. They're just aggressive. The music's not good. Like everything's going bad, and we need to change this. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna lose something that's so cultural to us as England and um the UK. Like this is a big thing for us and we're losing it like germany's always in the game with this when i went to berlin like you know okay they're all into techno but like techno's still good and they've stuck to techno they've not changed what they don't you know what i mean and it's not like i'm saying you can't change things ever but at least do it good and make the scene pleasant and that's the whole point of rave is meant to be love and passion for the music. And anyway, I'm gonna stop there because I think I ranted too much. But I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about if you experienced this yourself and if it's not just me going crazy and an old fart, which I kind of am these days. But you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, so my Eurovision stuff as well has been going really, well, really, really good. So go check out Eurovision Hub as well because I've been doing so many reactions for them. And I've got some really exciting stuff coming up with them in April. So that's that. And I've also got more exciting stuff on my channel. I'm going somewhere on Wednesday uh, next week um, for two weeks. So I've got some many, many vlogs. What am I doing? Am I like some fairy? <laughs> Got many vlogs coming your way. I love every single one of you guys when you like subscribe, it makes me so happy. And I'm actually at 1K now, which is so big for me. Like I genuinely don't 
I, it's nothing to most people, but the fact that there's 1,000 of you is a big deal for me, and I still feel like I have like 10. So anyway, <laughs> I will see you guys very, very soon in a vlog, and I will see you later. Bye.